Now, radio broadcasting may be a bit of an oldie, about 100 years old, but it's still a goldie in our eyes. A recent study by Edison found that it is still the most popular way that people listen to audio in their cars. Take that, Spotify. In today's video, we're gonna tell you absolutely everything you could possibly need to know about radio broadcasting and how you can get involved. This video is made by radio.co. To start your free radio.co trial in seconds, head to radio.co and click on the pricing page. The fundamentals of radio broadcasting. So in its simplest form, radio broadcasting is when you transmit an audio signal from one place to another. In 2024, there are four types of radio broadcasting, AM, FM, DAB, and internet. So all around us, invisible to the eye, are electromagnetic radio waves. In radio, these electromagnetic waves are used to transmit information. A radio transmitter takes an audio signal and encodes it as a carrier signal. It then transmits this carrier signal along the electromagnetic radio waves in the air. Radio sets decode this signal and then transmit it as audio into our ears. AM means amplitude modulation. So the amplitude or volume of the carrier signal is changed or modulated to contain the information in the audio signal. Confusing, I know, but don't worry, there are much simpler ways of transmitting audio these days, such as FM or frequency modulation. Just like AM, FM uses electromagnetic radio waves to transmit information. However, it doesn't change the amplitude of the signal. Instead, the frequency of the carrier wave is decreased or increased. So the frequency is changed or modulated. Next up is DAB, which stands for Digital Audio Broadcasting. Like AM and FM, DAB uses radio waves to reach listeners, but DAB doesn't modulate a carrier wave. Instead, DAB breaks down an audio signal into fragments and encodes it into numbers. These small bits of data are then transmitted for DAB receivers to decode and piece together. It can even decode little bits of text and numbers, which is why if you have like a DAB radio in your car, you can sometimes get news updates or what song is playing, whereas AM and FM you're just gonna get the title of the station. With AM and FM, you're restricted to one piece of data per frequency, but with DAB, you can transmit a lot of data at once. This even means that some stations can broadcast on the same frequency, which is why you sometimes get uh, stations grouped together. And finally, our favorite, internet radio. Internet radio kind of does what it says on the tin. It's radio transmitted using the internet. So you could say that this technically isn't broadcasting, but I mean, it basically is. With internet radio, stations send their digital audio to servers that have the ability to stream audio. Then people connect to the server and listen. The beauty of this is that all that's required from either the transmitter or the receiver or the, the station and the listener is an internet connection. So you don't need to have a fancy radio in the corner or something fancy in your car. All you need is the ability to access the internet. With the likes of Radio.co, it's also so much easier for stations to become stations. They just need to sign up, create an account, create a station, and boom, you're live on the air on the internet. Which is the best? Well, this is where it gets a bit more complicated because not everyone's gonna agree on which one is the best. And even though internet radio is the newest of the bunch, there's definitely still positives on transmitting via AM, FM, and DAB. So let's break them down and compare a few aspects of all of them. On AM, FM, and DAB, you're gonna need a broadcasting license to broadcast in most countries. Whereas with internet radio, you don't need a license at all. In terms of how far you can broadcast, with AM, you can broadcast up to several hundreds of miles. On FM, it's it's about 40 miles. With DAB, it kind of depends on how many multiplexes a station may belong to. And with internet radio, it's obviously anywhere in the world. Like I said earlier, AM and FM are restricted to one signal each, whereas DAB can broadcast on multiple signals. And then obviously internet radio isn't relying on a signal, so you can do what you want there. With AM and FM using one frequency, you are likely to get interference from time to time. Like if you've ever been driving along your car and all of a sudden you notice that the, the radio's gone and you have to like retune it or maybe retune to another station in the area that's using that frequency. Well, that's not a thing with DAB and it's definitely not a thing with internet radio. The cost of radio broadcasting. So radio broadcasting costs very much depend on the type of broadcasting you're doing and the type of technology you're using as well. For AM, FM and DAB, the costs include equipment, licensing fees, and if you're gonna play commercial music, then you're gonna have to think about paying for a license to do that. As internet radio doesn't broadcast over AM, FM or DAB, unless you choose to use those as well, 
uh, there's no license fees to pay. Plus, unlike AM, FM, and DAB, you could probably get away with just using your laptop as your only form of equipment. You don't even need a microphone if you have one built in. Whereas with DAB, AM, FM, you're obviously going to need to invest in tons of different expensive equipment. With internet radio as well, you can even use your smartphone to broadcast on the internet. It's that easy. And with the likes of Radio.co, it's cheaper than ever to start an internet radio station, with our prices starting at only $35 a month. From uploading tracks and managing playlists to voice tracking your shows and even getting listener figures, Radio.co has everything you need to manage your radio station. God, we sound good, don't we? You should check the link in the bio to start your free trial today. How do I broadcast radio? How you broadcast to the radio, like everything else, depends on what kind of frequency you want to use. So with AM and FM, you're going to need a transmitter. And if you want a transmitter, you're gonna need a license to use that transmitter. Because bandwidth is limited, not everyone can legally broadcast on AM, FM, and DAB. Which is why you usually need to apply for a license because otherwise you're gonna be stepping on some of a station's toes, likely. Alternatively, broadcasting online is very, very simple. Like I said before, you could have a laptop, you could have a cheap microphone, um, a Radio.co subscription, and voila, you are live. And with Radio.co and other internet radio broadcasters, the beauty of it is it's all in the cloud. So even if your laptop goes down your internet radio station will keep transmitting because it's all online so there you have it that is radio broadcasting in its simplest of terms am fm and dab are a little bit complicated but you can easily get your head around them and if they're not for you then internet radio is growing exponentially year on year in terms of how many people are listening to it and even the big am fm and dab stations are now using internet radio as well so if you want to start a station in 2024 but you don't want to go down the expensive and complicated route that am fm and dab provide why not check out radio.co but until next time thank you very much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one Happy broadcasting. And just before you go, have you ever thought about launching your very own internet radio station? Surprisingly, it's a lot easier than you may think, especially when you make the time to chat to myself or a member of the Radio.co team. To do just that, head to our website, radio.co forward slash demo, where I can talk about your plans, any questions you may have, and you know, me and the team can really get you up to speed in launching your own internet radio station in literally minutes. It couldn't be easier. Why not check out some of our webinars, tutorials, help guides situated uh, around me or why not visit our website radio.co or even drop me an email studio at radio.co until next time take care and happy broadcasting